this is Bruno with a new segment called 10 Minutes or Less with Bruno No BS. A very simple casual interview. No fancy cameras here. Today I have the honor to speak with a friend of mine, Ricardo Moncada, Chief Consultant from RMS Roofing. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Bruno. How you doing? Great to see you. Good to see you too, man. How long have you been in the roofing industry? I've been in the roofing industry since uh, 1988. Over 30 years now. All right. When did you realize roofing will be a career for you? I realized early in the career when I probably landed my first uh, uh, job. We sold on a very complex uh, uh, building in Monterey, Mexico. And I realized that roofing and waterproofing, it's a very noble business. And I say noble because it really helps people protect uh, their, some of their most valuable assets. Uh, sometimes it's their home, sometimes it's, you know, if it's a condo or if it's an industry. Companies, probably their largest asset is their building. So it, it gives me a lot of satisfaction when something that I'm doing, it helps people protect what they value most. And the other thing is, it also creates a lot of uh, work for a lot of people when you're part of a re-roofing project, uh, right. when you're part of the sale of a re-roofing project where you're bringing in solutions to the building owners, it really trickles to a lot of people the, uh, the benefit of, of creating that, that opportunity. In one point in our life, you know, I, we used to work to, uh, together, we worked for almost 10 years or probably more than that together, and I know you very well. And you were uh, one of the top sales guys in the entire South Florida, you know, everyone knows you. So now you own your own business. So what's the difference uh, uh, between owning a business and work for a big corporation like Tremico? Well, um, the, the work is similar because I, now I'm a consultant. I help building owners uh, navigate the complex world of roofing and waterproofing, especially down here in South Florida, you know, with all the, uh, codes and approvals and all the regulations, the Florida Building Code, roofing and waterproofing, uh, uh, it's, it's complex. It's a complex, complex task to undertake. And um, in many cases, uh, in the renovation of a building, you're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars that people are um, entrusted with, whether it's uh, an industry or whether it's an HOA or a condominium association. Uh, they have to really be careful on how they invest those dollars. And as a consultant, what I bring to the table is um, the protection to the building owner, first and foremost, on how to really make the right investment in leveling the playing field with the contractors and providing the, the right solution to, the, um, to their building needs and then watching how the project progresses until it's closed and then help them establish a maintenance program for their, uh, their roofs and their walls. Right, so a roofing consultant pretty much is advocate for the business owner, right? Correct. Okay. Correct, we'd say it on the, on the building owner's side of the table. We're there to protect them and protect their investment. What do you see for the future of our roofing industry? It, uh, for a new generation, and what kind of advice you can give, you know, because the majority of uh, your life in the roofing industry was in sales. So what kind of advice you can give to people, the young people that are coming up right now, and they can be successful like you, you were before? Well, uh, the first part of your question, what do I see in the future of the roofing and uh, waterproofing industry? There are materials uh, coming out every day, the technology is advancing. Um, materials are getting uh, easier to apply because of the shortage of labor. Uh, so the, the manufacturers are looking for ways to uh, minimize the labor, to maximize the, the um, longevity of the materials, to ease up on the maintenance of those materials. So that's where I see the, the industry going. It's, uh, coming, it's becoming uh, more and more technical. Uh, same thing with the building code and the, uh, the, the storms are getting stronger. The, the hurricane season, year after year, it's forecast more act, to be more active. So uh, 
you, we better do a better job in protecting the buildings and the, in the future. Um, what type of advice would I give somebody um, in, the, in this industry that's coming um, into the industry now is to really uh, speak from your heart when you're giving advice to a client. Again, this is their, probably their most valuable asset. So treat the buildings of your clients as if they were yours. And um, if, you, if you come from that place where you are truly acting in the best interest of the, um, of the building owner of your client, um, and, and you are dedicated and you, you're thorough in, in what you do and your specifications and the details, um, you know, it's a win-win for everybody. Because it also brings a lot of uh, certainty to the contractor. The contractors, the good contractors, do not need more practice on putting uh, proposals together. So yeah. when they have a good consultant involved in the project that has detailed specifications, it reduces the amount of uh, uh, change orders and um, you know conflicts with the with the building owner not knowing what they're what they're getting into. So when the, the, the right investigation, the right diagnostic is done by a consultant, it, it's a lot easier for the contractor to complete a successful project. Does it help for you to be bilingual? Absolutely, absolutely, especially down here in South Florida. Um, it depends on at what level you're, you're um, dealing in terms of the organization, but um, I'm, out there talking to CFOs and CEOs and uh, uh, property managers, plan managers, but I'm also talking to superintendents and, and crew members. So it really makes a big difference when you're able to connect uh, person to person in the, in the same language. I'm independent and that I can truly provide the building owners with the best solution available in the market. Uh, different buildings uh, require different solutions. Uh, they have different uses and they have different uh, lifespan and different interests for the building owner. I really uh, am able to put myself in the client's shoes and look for options that are best for them. Any masses out there for the people watching this video, my followers, uh, your friends, well, and it this time towards, it could be towards the COVID nineteen too, the coronavirus. Yeah, this these are hard times. There are hard times for everybody. So, you know, it doesn't um, hurt to be kind, to be compassionate. You know, people are dealing with a lot of things, and everybody's dealing with something different. You don't know what the, what other people are dealing with. So, just you know, if at all uh, times you can be kind, you can be compassionate, you can really be um, uh, mindful that other people could be dealing with something, uh, some situations that are a lot worse than yours. Uh, I think we'll, we'll come out from this situation stronger and, uh, and, you know, be able to make a difference. Thank you very much, Ricardo. It was a pleasure seeing you again. Next time on Miami, we're gonna grab lunch together, buddy. Absolutely. It was a pleasure talking to you. You be safe out there, okay? Thank you, Bruno. No problem, buddy.